Man, you've got a busy morning. We're talking about really strong winds are moving in from the north. Yes, so that a complex storm system I've been tracking earlier this morning is now moving into Oklahoma as it's continuing to hang along the Oklahoma-Kansas line. As it continues to progress to the southeast, it should continue to weaken. However, we have seen some pretty strong wind gusts. I mean, it did record 100-mile-per-hour winds in Wichita and then Winfield at 80 miles per hour. So that's what you see. This flashing right here is going to be your destructive severe thunderstorm warning. And that does include K County uh, for that potential to see upwards of 80 mile per hour winds. Um, still hopeful. It continues to weaken, but I would definitely start to watch there in Osage County, Ponca City, as this continues to move into your location. Because even if you're not in that destructive severe thunderstorm warning, you could still be in a severe uh, thunderstorm warning overall, which could include upwards of 70 miles per hour. And they did go ahead and just extend that into portions of Osage County, as I was just pointing that out. There we go. So severe thunderstorm watch is in place. This is going to go until 10 a.m. But I, I do need to remind you, it's going to be three opportunities for severe storms. The first one is happening right now, for, especially for northern counties. We're going to have another chance going into your overnight hours and then once again into Wednesday afternoon. I'll show you that in just a little bit, but right now we're seeing a little bit more cloud coverage as the system starts to move in. Wade's RV Weather Camera Network looking at some nice uh, blue, uh, not blue skies, nice sunrise as we we're waiting for that to happen there in a few of our cameras. Our temperatures are warm. It's feeling Pretty humid out there as well. So we're currently at 71 degrees with those southerly winds. Temperatures this afternoon at 92, but your heat indices going to feel more like upwards of 103. So it's going to be hot and humid throughout the remainder of today. And then going into your overnight hours, we're going to have to really watch radar for some isolated to scattered storms, some of which could be strong to severe, especially going into Bartlesville, into Coffeeville. We'll really continue to monitor this location. It'll start overnight and then continue into your Wednesday morning. So it could be a very stormy start to the day. This is moments where you're going to want to have uh, extra ways of receiving warnings. And then going into Wednesday afternoon, that third chance for severe weather will happen mainly Wednesday afternoon and evening. And then similar conditions, low tornado threat, mainly really focusing on a wind and hail potential. Going into pretty much the majority of your Wednesday morning, we're just going to keep those showers and storms. And then after Wednesday, we should be dry for the rest of the week into the weekend. Summer starting on Friday with key indices back in those triple digits.